Hey guys, it's James here. So you know I'm really, really into home theater PCs and I love the brand new update to Android TV, so I wanted to give a rundown. So this is live TV channels, essentially from Google, running on my NVIDIA Shield. So when I tap on live channels, it uh, brings up the nice little live TV and this is connected to my HD home run. When I tap on the enter button, I can go down to TV. There's a new picture and picture mode, essentially, which is really cool. It's one of my new favorite features. So this is cool because maybe you want to keep watching TV and go into Hulu, for instance. And here we're watching Billy on the Street. So uh, we can just get any time, double tap the home button and go right back into TV. So some applications support this today and live channels does. But let's say I want to record it, which is a brand new feature. This is connected to my home, HD home run. There's no record button on the remote, but I can actually just hit enter to bring up these TV options, which is nice. And if I hit up, that's going to bring me into this live scrub bar and I can actually go over to this brand new record. There's a few things I can do, such as single recording or series recording if I want to. Let's actually just say record this show. And we get a little toast notification to say, hey, you're recording. So at this point, I can go back and forth and do whatever I want to actually watch more TV channels. And it's recording, uh, which is really cool. Now, going back into the scrub bar, what's nice is that as it's actually going, I can time shift, which is brand new too, which I think is a super important feature. So I'm time shifting, I'm hitting enter, and I'm actually just pausing. I can go back, I can go forward to live TV as it's going. This is a unique feature. And um, this is really cool because I use Plex most of the time for recordings and TV um, playback, but you can't do live TV and you can here. But of course, now that we're recording this, we can see it's uh, indicated here on the actual program guide. And this uh, grid guide is, is fantastic. Let's search for, search for something else. Maybe let's say Drew Carey show. This is like Monday, Monday afternoon TV, so not much. Again, I can actually now long press on the home button and say record a series. Now, this isn't the most options. You can just say different priorities and you can say which channels you want it on. Uh, so nothing crazy. And I'm assuming since I have two tuners, it will know to do some conflict resolution there. Now, I've uh, gone ahead and recorded the series, and you can see it's actually going to try to record every single thing under the sun, and uh, I don't want that. So we can go ahead and come back and cancel it and, and do anything like that if we want to right on this page. So you can get back and forth really easily, and, and I'll show you how to get back to this page. It's not that difficult. So I'm back. I really like that little splash screen they do. They put up a little uh, image before they actually show it. Again, anything is at enter screen, going back into the program series, and now I'm in series, so we can see the Drew Carey show was scheduled. We can see that it's not here. We're recording this movie. I can cancel it from here if I want to. It gives me a nice way of managing my recordings back and forth. Now, let's go ahead and try to uh, record something else, and let me show you what it looks like inside of a full series recording that's in here. Like I said, I'm doing most of my things uh, over in Plex, but now if I want to record, I can long press on the grid guide again and go into record series. So uh, I'm going in and simply uh, going into the scheduled and recording stuff. So I can see Alaska State, State Troopers here and my full schedule recording and every single thing that is going to actually record uh, if I want it to, um, which is nice. So uh, now when I'm watching this movie, there's uh, you know other things that I can do, obviously. Uh, at the same time, uh, which I could go back into picture in picture mode, or if I'm not, for instance, it's going to quit out and I go into Plex. Now we kind of saw the view that the other TV show did, but I give you a sneak peek of what kind of Plex looks like. Now Plex is also using the same exact HD home run uh, tuner, and we can see that I have the series recording up here. I think this is just a much more elegant view uh, in general. The problem here is that you can't time shift, nor can you watch a show back while it's actually being recorded. So it's actually a huge benefit of the new live channel update with HD Home Run. Now, when you're looking to set this up, one thing that's really important is that you have to uninstall the HD Home Run program or else your grid guide will get very confused for some reason. Uh, so what you need to do is actually go down into the um, settings area. Okay, not picture in picture, but let's go back into the settings mode. Let's go back in here. So uh, we'll go back in and we go down into settings. And when you go into channel sources, the first time I launched this, it ran a setup and I just went through the setup and I saw this network TV tuner beta or whatever, and I have 14 channels. If you also see the HD home run in there, that means you most likely need to actually uninstall that application or else recording won't work. So when you go through the setup here, it's really, really quick. It just finds a network tuner on your network and it says 14 channels found. You can scan again and you're essentially good to go at that point. Now, to know if you're actually able to record a channel or if there's some conflict for some reason, what you can do is go into the grid guide and what you can see right next to the time, you can see that recordable next to it. So you'll see DVR, recordable, and that's how you need to do it. Well, thanks guys. This is James and I hope you enjoyed this review of Live TV.